In this module, we are going to discuss health promotion campaigns. And one of the things that can help us to do health promotion campaigns are really smart partnerships. Partnerships are working with other people, working with other organizations to help us accomplish our particular goal. And they can help us uh, specifically in certain health promotion campaigns. So what's a campaign? A campaign has a time frame to it. So it's a health promotion, with respect to health promotion, it's a time limited initiative uh, designed to bring about a particular result. So for instance, there's like a pol there's political campaigns as well. Political campaigns don't go on forever, although sometimes they feel like they do. And health promotion campaigns, they don't go on forever either. They're typically set for a particular period of time to accomplish a particular goal. Okay. So like I've said, they're goal oriented, um, they have different uh, outcomes that they might uh, seek to achieve, like to inform, persuade or motivate change with respect to health promotion campaigns. They are typically um, directed at very large audiences, but like we talked about in the market segmentation section, we really want to define our target audience and direct our particular campaign towards them specifically. Okay. The other thing I keep mentioning is that it's time sensitive and it's not one part to it. Okay, So it's not like one particular tactic. There's often a combination of tactics, often a combination of strategies in order to get that ultimate goal ideally accomplished. Okay, so some things I've just talked about, there is a target group, and again, we wanna really define that target group, not just on things like demographics or geographics, but also on things like psychographics, like are these risk-taking people, are these people that have very strong family values, you know, we might wanna get into their heads and their psychology as well, as part of, you know, coming up with our central message. Right? which would also be part of like what we would do in the objective phase of the pre-seed-proceed model, which we saw earlier in this course. In the next uh, few slides, I'm gonna talk about the difference between these two concepts, strategy versus tactics. Strategies are like the big plans. Like for instance, if I want to have people uh, not get lung cancer, one strategy would be to get people that already smoke to quit. A totally different strategy would be to get people to never start. Okay, so the ultimate goal is the same, but whether our plan is aimed at prevention or treatment or something else entirely, you know, that is more of the big plan. And then how are we going to do this? Let's say we are focusing our efforts on prevention. How are we actually going to do that? What are the specific things that we are going to do? Are we going to have social media campaigns? Are we going to have pamphlets of educations? Are we going to have um, brochures? I don't know. Okay, so those are more of the specifics. And I'll get into this a bit in the next slide too. Okay, often there's partnerships, which we'll talk about later this unit. And something else we'll talk about this unit too is the difference between these three things. So not in this module, but in one of the other modules, we'll discuss how partners, these are kind of, they work with us to like get whatever we want to get accomplished, accomplished. And they often invest money or at least resources in getting that accomplished. Stakeholders are people that like care about this initiative. Okay, they're like, so they might not necessarily invest in it, or be like one of the central leads on the project, but they are invested in the outcome. So they care about the outcome and they want it to go a certain way, for instance. Gatekeepers, these are people that like, we might have to go through <laughs> in order to get things done. So the example we'll use later is like, if you wanna do any initiative in a school, you gotta go through the principal, okay? Or you gotta go through the dean or the, the VPs or whatever, depending on the type of school it is, okay? And in a campaign, again, think like pre-seed, proceed model, we want to really make sure that what we set out to accomplish is what we actually accomplish. So outcome evaluation is a really important part of a campaign too, okay? So a little bit more about this concept of strategies versus tactics, which is a very easy thing for me to ask you about on a quiz or an exam, like give, give an example of a strategy here and give an example of a tactic in a particular situation. Okay. So again, a strategy is more of a global plan. Okay. So again, are we focused our efforts on prevention? So for instance, are we focusing our efforts on prevention? 
you know, in a particular age group? Are we focused on treatment in a particular demographic or in a particular area of the country? Um, another example of a strategy would be like, if I want to reduce obesity, well, is my strategy going to focus on physical activity? Or is it going to focus on reducing food intake? And then with respect to reducing food intake, am I looking to like educate people before they become obese about reducing food intake? Or is this more focused on individuals that are already obese? Okay. So again, hopefully that makes sense. This is more of that kind of global strategy. So for instance, if I'm trying to get somewhere, if I'm trying to get from point A to point B, you know, I could use different strategies to get there. So for instance, I could take a land route to get to point B, okay? I could take the mountains, for instance. I could take the desert route to get to point B, or I could take the river, okay? Those are all the strategies, okay? But then a tactic would be like, how are you gonna do that, right? Because if I take the river, I'm gonna need a boat, I'm gonna need paddles, I'm gonna need life jackets. You know, I'm going to need to know my navigation plan. <laughs> if I take the mountains, I'm going to need fit people. I'm going to need um, a lot of water packed. I'm going to need um, uh, good fitness before I even do that. I'm going to need uh, guides and all these other things. Okay, so the tactics are like, how are you actually going to get that done? Okay, global plan versus how are you actually going to get it done? Okay, so that's the difference between those two things. And a lot of times, and why it's important to make this difference, is a lot of time people just throw a bunch of tactics at things without a global strategy. Okay, and then again, as we keep saying in this class, we don't want to just throw a bunch of things at the wall. We want to actually think things through first. Okay, so here's a good comic that explains the difference. So what's the big campaign idea? We're going digital, Facebook, YouTube, a mobile app, Pinterest. What are you going to do with, what are you going to do in all those channels? I don't know. We'll figure it out later. Okay, so these are all tactics. These are all kind of sub tactics, even, right? Because perhaps it's an education campaign. Okay, so these are tactics, but without that global strategy, like what are you trying to accomplish? And what kind of main message or main kind of areas are you focusing on? you know, we're not really, that's not really a well-planned out campaign, okay? So something to think about when you are talking about campaigns.